Welcome to the tour of it on Bitsy8. In this video, I'm going to show how to say and respond to item counts. So across a number of videos now, we've been dealing with multiple concepts as it concerns Bitsy. We understand that a larger story or game in Bitsy is divided up into different rooms, and we have a tool, the Room tool, to help us do that. As we work with rooms, we work with avatar, the thing we move around, tiles, backgrounds or walls, and sprites, things we interact with. We also have items, things that are used up as part of an interaction. Whenever we use up an item, they become part of our inventory. So if I click on item over here and then pop out inventory, we notice T and key. And as we use up, interact with those items, they become part of our inventory. When they become part of the inventory, they become part of the item count for that particular item. So the number of interactions we have done counts towards the number of counts in the inventory. So if I have interacted with one T, there will be one item count for that inventory item. And the same is also true of whatever items might be a part of that inventory. So we interact with items and we use them up. We don't use up sprites. Instead, they stick around and we can interact with them multiple times. So for this particular example, I have created in such a way that I want the cat that is a sprite to respond to different amounts of collections, or put another way, to respond to different number of item counts. When the item count is a certain condition, the cat should respond with something, Otherwise, it should respond for something else. And part of that should respond is what we call a branching list within the dialog tool within Bitsy. So if I pop out the dialog tool over here, notice it says if T in inventory is less than five, so you need to collect at least five right here. Have you collected all the T yet? A page break, you have, and then notice there's a space at the end, and then say. Say is a special type of action that we can use within dialog interactions. So we've seen right here, if we click on the add button, I have dialog, dialog or page break. Remember page break breaks up the dialog boxes. We have lists, previously we've seen sequence, cycle, shuffle and branching. And I'm gonna move down here and look at item and variable actions. So we have set item count, increase item count, decrease item count, say item count, which is what I clicked on to do this. So I'm saying the item count. But remember this dialog flows from top to bottom. So unless it encounters a page break, which breaks it up into different dialog boxes, then it flows together. So I have, you have, and then an extra space, say, which will put in the number for me, and then an extra space so far. In other words, every time I interact with the cat, it's going to say, have you collected all the T yet? You have, and it's going to tell me how many T's I've collected, that is how many interactions with the T item I've done, or else it's gonna say you collected all the T if it is five or more. At the same time, I've set up information over here, an item to tell us you have collected, notice the space at the end, say the item count so far. So let's go ahead and play this so we can see it in action. So if we come down here and immediately interact with the cat, it's gonna say, have you collected all the T yet? you have zero so far. So notice giving us an update as we play this. So whenever we interact with a T, it's going to say you have collected zero so far, which is true. When that was shown, we had collected zero. Notice though in the inventory, we've now collected one. At the end of the interaction with an item, it is used up and becomes part of the inventory. So at the end of the interaction, so it went through all of these, you have collected zero so far, which was correct when this was shown and then it kicked in right here. So keep that in mind with items, can be a little bit tricky. And let's go ahead, you've collected one so far, two, three, four, which we know as actually five over here. And now as an interactive cat, you collected all the T. So notice we can have the dialogue interaction say the number. And notice when it comes to item interactions, the saying of an item count, especially its own count, can be slightly off. So I'm gonna play this again, and this time we're gonna to talk to the cat. Collected all the T yet, you have zero so far, which is correct. Now notice it's gonna say zero so far, and then it's gonna update inventory, right? As soon as this, inter as soon as this dialogue ends, notice it's T1. Now if I go back, talk to the cat, one so far. 
So this is an important difference, especially as we start thinking about item counts and saying and responding to them. Whenever we have an item say its own current item count, that will be true when the say happens. You have collected zero so far for the first interaction, which is true, zero, and then it will be updated. So kind of keep that in mind if you're doing the say as part of item interactions for its own item count, which is correct. The using up happens at the end of the interaction. For sprites, as long as we're interacting with something different, so interacting with an item and coming back to the sprite, it will always have the correct number for some other thing we've interacted with. So if we interact with an item and it updates an item count, and then we go talk to a sprite, that will be after the end of the interaction with that item. So using the say action as part of working with dialogue, we can have things respond to the current item count in inventory. We can have items respond, and in this case, I had a sprite respond as well. We need to keep in mind when we use say or respond to item counts that the interaction, the using up of an item happens at the very end, after anything we put within the dialogue tool for that item. So this is incredibly important as we start to really see the detailed differences between interactions with sprites and interactions with items. So let me sum up what I've talked about in this video. I've talked about using the say action as part of dialogue. We can have Bitsy produce the number of item counts for a particular item. And we know item count is just the number of interactions with that item. When we interact with it at the very end of its series of interactions as part of the dialogue, it's then added plus one to the current count within inventory. So if we wanted to say at the particular thing, when part of the inventory or part of the dialogue tool and inventory, click plus, scroll down to item and variable actions and say item count. Keeping in mind that when we're saying the item count for a particular item, it will be whatever the count is when the interaction begins and then it is updated at the end. So if we want it to say its current number, it's always going to be kind of minus one. So interacting with the first T said zero, which was true when we, when we started the interaction, but wasn't true at the end of the interaction. And that can be a little bit tricky to keep track of. But saying and responding to item counts can be a really useful pattern to create much more interactive stories and projects within Bitsy as we now start to lean a little bit more into branching lists, a little bit more into inventory, particularly paying attention to the number of interactions using item count, saying and responding to them as part of Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.